and we're at the ID Tech X show. Hi. Hi, my name is Ofer. I'm the CEO and founder of uh, Coprint. Uh, we are presenting actually for the first time to the world our product uh, at uh, ID Tech X show. Uh, what we are doing is we developed a conductive uh, copper ink that is actually superior in performance to the current silver inks. It is also dramatically cheaper and also environmental friendly. So what eventually we are doing is that we are enabling people to uh, uh, use uh, 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 ink just to print conductive patterns and therefore they can print antennas, they can print heaters, they can print uh, uh, PCBs. Uh, the big difference is uh, 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 that most of the industry is using today uh, uh, inks that are made out of silver. Uh, silver is very expensive, also I would say it's very toxic. And what you can see here is actually a nice chart of comparison between the sheet resistance of different uh, conductive inks. So this is the sheet resistance here on the, on the y-axis. So the lower you are, the more conductive you are. So you want to be as low as possible. The other axis is the sintering time. So how long do you need to bake the printed pattern until it's conductive? And what we are showing here is that we are showing a comparison to the top silver inks that are available in the market. We're showing that the copper inks are actually better in performance. They are faster to manufacture for, for manufacturing line. And also, and this is not on the chart, is that they are dramatically cheaper. So you should expect a redu redu reduction in cost of something like three to five X relative to the top silver inks in the market. Uh, and at the same time, uh, 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 faster performance and being environmental friendly. So the first thing that we are promoting is actually printing RFID antenna on paper. Today, usually RFID antenna are made by etched aluminum and PET, which is actually horrible to the environment. They are not sustainable uh, because it's aluminum and PET. It's like a can of Coke glued to a bottle of Coke. And when you throw it away, Ah, it's not fun. Instead of that, what we are uh, 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 offering today is RFID antennas that are made out of copper printed on paper. So the paper is fully compostable and the amount of copper that you have on an average antenna is in the order of 10 milligrams, which is less the amount of copper that you have in one kilogram of kale. Or it's about the same amount of copper that you have in three gallons of water. So it's really compostable, environmental friendly. Is that why kale tastes a little bit strange? I'm, to I'm joking. Uh, I know. Yeah, so. Well, actually, actually the daily intake for a, a, an adult is 1.5 milligram of copper. So you must consume copper. More than one of these every day? Uh, no, actually it's about a quarter of this. A quarter so, of these every day is yeah, in a, in a way, in a way you can say that uh, every breakfast, a uh, family can cut uh, RFID to four and split it for everybody to get their dosage of copper. No, I'm just joking, of yeah. course. Uh, the main thing is to understand that the impact on the environment here is minimal, unlike any other alternative to create conductive patterns. So is this your copper uh, mix? What is this? Yes, yes. This is a, this is a picture. You can see the, the, the great uh, color, color of uh, uh, cooperish color of that and uh, uh, it's made out of nano copper so the particles are sub 100 nanometer we have a unique patented technology how to make copper conductive maybe I should say that silver inks were inv invented in 1948 uh, they were used for building the first actually computers and all the market was interested in copper ink so why didn't they create copper ink I mean Copper is about 100 times cheaper than silver, and it is, has 5% less conductivity. So why not to create a copper ink? Uh, the reason is that copper will oxidize uh, uh, once it's exposed to air. So copper particles oxidize, they become green on the outside, and they cannot be conductive. So for many years, people have tried to develop it without success. At Coprint, we made a really, uh, 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 I would say, a great innovation by doing what we call chemical sintering. We have a special sintering agent that is patented that we insert into the uh, uh, nano-copper mixture that we are making and this enables us to do 
very fast sintering, usually just three seconds, with equipment that will cost you less than $200. All this, it's not too good to be true. Is, is, uh, if it's real, then it's a big revolution, no? It is a big revolution, we believe, to the market. And usually, uh, you know, people s always like to say about their products that they are very revolutionary. I can say that Coprint today, uh, uh, let's say we have two uh, uh, investors behind us. One is uh, Henkel and the other one is HP. And I believe that... Uh, um, Let's say we have enough credibility in the market today for people to know that this is real. What you can see actually down here below is uh, a, 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 an output of uh, 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 the antenna printing solution by a company called Mulbauer. This is a German company that is making equipment for the RFID industry. And they created a special printer that is just specifically made for uh, printing RFID antenna. It's a reel-to-reel -reel printer. You can actually see the picture of it right here below. Okay, it's a it's a reel-to-reel -reel solution for printing uh, RFID. It has now a capacity to print 500 million RFID antenna per year. And here I'm seeing Pragmatic. So you're working with Pragmatic? Yes, Pragmatic is also a, 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 a partner of us. What we are able to do is to print antennas that are compostable to work with Pragmatic. And also, uh, our antennas are cheaper than any other alternative. So we are bringing the value of being cheap and environmental friendly. And of course, the collaboration with uh, Pragmatic is uh, uh, very natural because they make the cheapest possible uh, 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 chips for making uh, NFC antennas. But what I heard before is that the, the silver is, um, what's it called, the most conductive material or something like that. Silver, no, look, as, as a raw material, silver is about 5% more conductive than copper, but it's 100 times more expensive. But relative to silver inks, silver inks are not as conducting as raw silver because they are printed. So relative to silver ink, we have better conductivity than the top silver inks in the market. When did you come up with this? We are, working, around? we are working on this company for about four years. We were working in a garage mode for two years uh, uh, in a, something that looks like a Breaking Bad uh, lab. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, cooking the, 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 the nano copper, doing a lot of work. Are you starting the cook? No, Michael, that is right behind you, is the cook. Yeah. Is now talking to other people. Yeah. And uh, 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 I, 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 I'm helping or disturbing depending on how you look on it and eventually uh, and, and eventually after two years with a great product we raise funding in order to scale up our production uh, we decided not to sell the product before we scale up the production so we could have you know a, a very big capacity achieving about a ton per month's capacity so now we are offering actually people the product for for sale like something and uh, something like this Yes, this is an example uh, uh, for uh, uh, the, the, the ink that uh, 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 we are shipping now to, uh, to customers. Is ink inside? Yes. yes. And we can Do you want to you. see it? Yeah. Okay. How does Let's... it smell? Uh, well, you will tell us in a second how does it smell. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so uh, how's it been here, the IDTech X show? You've been uh, uh, having lots of uh, people talk with you? Wow, yeah. It's really hard. I mean, if you just see the amount of business cards I had, uh, I have in my pocket since this morning. Okay, right. so uh, uh, you know we have uh, quite a lot of visitors here, a lot of interest, and uh, it looks like a lot of people it's that. Uh, no. uh, do you want to taste it? You can no. try it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe do you mind? Uh, can you have the mic? Mic on. Uh, uh, just so, a second. Uh, I will. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe um, you can keep the glove on if you can just click the mic there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, just, just before we're talking about you being the cook. Uh, yeah. Right. So you're the cook. Sort of. Yes, I'm the well, chemist. We, the chemist. <laughs> well, we, we we have just closer to the mic. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we we have today, of course, uh, a lot of people in the company. We have more than ten people, and uh, a lot of uh, many chemists, master and PhDs. 
So uh, how, how do you come up with this? So, has it been like uh, uh, unexpected or did you do some kind of studies towards this direction or? Uh, it was a, a long journey, starting with uh, uh, reducing ions to get nanoparticles, finally to formulate it to paste and uh, to center it under air atmosphere and to get very highly conductivity. Ions to particles? It sounds like something they're talking about like a nuclear physicist or something like that. Is it no, nanotechnology, he, is it? He, he uh, is I, a phys physicist, I'm, I'm a the chemist. Physicist. Phys physicists do not understand anything in chemistry. So. <laughs> So, but, it seems uh, to everybody that it's you know very close to be physicist or a chemist, but it's not. It's not. So so, but you're talking about the ions. The the can you describe a little bit more, or is it secret? No, it's not. It's not a secret. The, the, the process to produce the nanoparticles, we are starting with, with a process which is uh, uh, bottom up. We start with ion. We ions. We are reducing them to get atoms. These atoms aggregate and crystallize to get nanoparticles, and these nanoparticles are formulated to these kind of paste. And Once we have the paste, we can print it by screen printing or, or other, other techniques, dry it and sinter it. And uh, do hybrid uh, electronics too? Uh, put some chips on and stuff? Yes, and you can see here some examples of uh, uh, printing of copper together with uh, Additional with, uh, carbon inks, carbon inks to, to get yeah. he flexible heaters, or that kind of of NFC tag that is integrated integrated already with a very tiny chip. Can you see the chip? So it's, what chip is it? The pragmatic? It's no. This is the silicon based silicon chip. chip. Yes. So how do you put it exactly where it needs to be? That's oh, the usual way. This, no, this is the, the, the role of Mulbauer, our partner. This is done with that machine. All right. Uh, what are some of the other uh, challenges that you have right now? You're the CTO, right? So yeah, what's so, next? Oh, the, 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 the main challenge is to enable the, the printing on the various substrates. So, so the, the first uh, patterns that we were printing were on paper. So getting the paper right. Is yes, and, and and here you can see the the roll to roll printing on on paper. Right now we are releasing the 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 product of printing on PET. So each of the different uh, substrates. Each substrate requires different. yes. Each substrate requires a different formulation it's to get the right here, huh? yes to get the adhesion. People can even go and click buy and buy one of one of these. Yeah. And start working with it. Try to see if their equipment works with it. Yeah. All right. The future of printer electronics is copper. Uh, that's why all the the cheapest, the smallest coins are always in copper, right? Because it's cheap. <laughs> yeah. It's cheaper than silver. Cheaper. It's a, it's about hundred times cheaper than silver. Hundred times cheaper. Yes. All right. Uh, how's it been this show for you? Great. Lots of uh, a, a lot of a lot of visitors. A lot of interactions. 